Well, I've been butt-fucked by GameStop, and I can prove it. So at 5.53 a.m., I was sent an email saying your GameStop.com order confirmation. So I go and click on it, I'm like, oh, look at this, GameStop's thinking that I bought something, oh, what is this? And it says, thank you for your order, we appreciate your business. Date, March 5th, 2016, and the order number and the amount 63.35. Your contents is Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, oh, perfect, the game that I totally wanted to play. And I totally purchased, and I kind of started thinking to myself, I'm like, did I accidentally pre-order this game? Did I accidentally click on it and actually buy it? Oh, wait a second, I don't go on GameStop and I don't buy from their shitty site. I just don't do it. And another thing that's missing from here is saying that it doesn't have... A, a little a little uh, console tag to it. Like, it doesn't have PS4, it doesn't have Xbox One, it doesn't have PC. Those are the, the consoles and uh, stuff that it's on, so it's not actually showing that it's there. And it says the subtotal $59.99, estimated tax $336, and the handling is not there because apparently this is a digital download. So, I check another email that I got, and it says GameStop order, and it says the number. It says, thank you for choosing GameStop.com. We are currently reviewing your order number. While this review may take up to 12 hours, our goal is to complete our review and release your order as quickly as possible. You do not need to take any action at this time. If we need additional information to process your order, one of our team members will reach out to you via email. Thank you for your patience, GameStop's customer service. And uh, that's what I got. And I was like, okay. So I look at this uh, little number, right, and it's it's available to click. So I click on it, right, and it's supposed to send me to uh, my order, my order history on GameStop.com. So it can't. It says that I need to sign in. So I'm like, oh fuck, I don't know my GameStop uh, login information. So basically, what I do, I open up another tab just in case it's a scam to get my information. I uh, log in and I change my password. Now I go into the GameStop thing and I actually check my order history, not through this email. And I click on it, and I'm like, there's nothing here. I have not used this account. I have not been on this account. I didn't even know my login information on this account, so there's no way for me to even purchase this, right? And uh, I, I'm like, okay, just in case, I'm going to check the payment information. There's no payment information on there. There's no PayPal. There's no credit card. There's nothing. So I'm like, oh, God, phew, nothing, right? Nothing that could actually purchase something off of this account. And I go to my uh, address, and I erase my address just in case if someone's trying to get into my shit, and I get rid of all of that, right? Now, uh, a few hours later, go by, and I'm like, okay, so I guess I'll just go to bed now, and I, this is all over with. I wake up, and I find out that I got another email at 8.03 a.m. It says, order date, March 4th, 2016. The other one said March 5th, 2016. Now this one says March 4th, 2016. This is where I'm really thinking it's a spam, right? I think it's just like a fake email that some people are just making up, right? And it says the order number, and I'm pretty sure this is the exact same number. And it says ordered, and it says my name. Now, I don't have my actual name, though, on my account, I don't believe. Unless I actually went to the GameStop and has it in there. But when I went onto the site, it didn't have my full name, which is weird. So it says items ready for download. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2, okay, that's exactly what you said I purchased, and it still doesn't say the console uh, that this game is for. It says, for your protection, we do not send downloadable codes directly through email. Okay, you don't send, you know, downloadable codes through email for what reason? Because I feel like that'd be the safest way to get these downloadable codes, but okay. So it says, go to this GameStop.com slash order slash order history to check it. And you got to log in using email and password. Click on the order number and redemption instructions will be located under your code. Uh, so I, I tried doing this. Still no order history at all. There's none. There's nothing whatsoever. And it says, if the above link does not work, copy the link and paste it into your browser. All this doesn't work, right? It's it's fake. It seems like it's completely fake, right? It's not legit. This is a fake email. It just spam. So, just in case to close this as off as spam, I go to my bank account, I log in, and what do you know? The saddest thing has happened to me. I lost $63.35 off of my account. Exactly that amount. Which means that this email might have been fake or might have been real. I, there's no order history for me to even uh, check this and come back to it. Plus, I didn't even have my credit card information on this account for them to even buy it. If someone did log into my account, there's no way for them to even do this. And now I have money missing, the exact amount of money that they said they were charging me, off of my account. 
Which means that someone at GameStop, one of the GameStops that I actually logged into or made this account at, stole my credit card information when purchasing something at their store probably about two years ago and now is using my credit card to buy games off of my email account with my credit card. It just, my mind is blown right now. It just, it's, GameStop, you're a failing business. We all understand this. No one wants to come to your shitty store anymore and purchase your crappy ass games and wait in those lines. No one wants to do that shit anymore. You're a terrible business. You're stealing money from me. At least your employees that are getting paid $7.25 an hour are stealing money from me now, from my account, which they had no, uh, no way of even having my credit card information. And now I just lost $63.35, and I'm gonna have to call my bank account, and I have to talk to my bank and be like, hey bud, this is fraud, someone stole money from me, I want this shit closed down, and then we're gonna have to go this whole ordeal just to get my $63.35 back. Thank you, GameStop. You're worse than Machinima.